Well, welcome back to Spud Run Golf. I'm Jeremy here in Southern Ohio. <laughs> All right, so we got a Saturday on the list here. It's about noon, just getting here, but what's cool about today is at the end of the day, we have some subscribers coming to play our backyard golf hole, our backyard golf course at par 33 with the par five, four par fours, four par threes. Really cool little backyard golf course. I've kind of got some just general stuff that needs done all day long. And we're gonna take you through it today. So no big crazy title, no big catchphrase, no big clickbait title that I can put out here. It's just a Saturday afternoon prepping for some folks to come out and golf. Typical things I'll do. There is a couple things going on with the green that we're gonna to touch on here later because it's just that time of the year to when that bent grass green is most susceptible to our disease here in Southern Ohio. So guys, welcome back. Let's get to it. You're never gonna guess what the first thing we're gonna to do today. You'd never guess. And I think this is important for tonight's subscriber guest. We're gonna start a fire. This is what we call pre-soaking. I like the fire for a couple reasons. The first reason is we gotta burn this brush up. We're back here by the golf green. You can see in the distance. So this, this fire as it burns throughout the day, cause the golfers are several hours away, but that smoke kind of fill the hollow. It gives the ambiance. I, I just love that when the smoke kind of fills a hollow. And if it does get bad, where there's a lot of bugs, that'll also help with bugs. So we'll get this going. It'll be burning again tonight. That was our first task. Next up, we're gonna mow the fairway. And about every other time I mow the fairway, I pull our yardage markers. And the other times I just go around. The fairway is looking pristine, so now let's mow the tee boxes. got all the mowing done even mowed some of the high roughs up in the woods so it's looking really good by far the most physical intensive thing i'll do today is this bunker the other night we had that 1v1 match that rain just came down and it moved material it moved sand it moved gravel on the cart pass uh, it just caused havoc i usually only have to do this a couple times a year so so fortunately it's not too bad so we'll get this thing pimped out we're going to so basically what happens is that green, that's all the runoff that bunker gets is that green. But it was coming down in sheets and it was just, it was a sheet of water just, and once it starts, it just, that sand gets moisture and it's like a, like an avalanche. So like I said, the hardest thing I have to do today is right here, let's get this done so we can move on to something else. So that took probably 18, 20 minutes. But a couple notes for you. The first note, if you're ever lucky enough to play spud run, this is a big pet peeve of mine, leave the rakes in the bunker. I mow more than I rake the bunker, so if I mow and the rakes are in the grass, I gotta move them. I'm fat, I don't like doing that, I don't like getting off the mower. Leave the rakes in the bunker. Second note, so how I just shoveled that sand up on top where it washed out, that's why I always wiggle my feet when I hit a sand shot. It's more so to get a feeling for the sand, not really to get a stance, to get a footing. It's more to, to feel out the underneath of where my club head's gonna go. And that's what you should probably do too, because this bunker here is freshly raked. One side of it's gonna be more hard packed than the other side, which where your ball lands, you know, if a ball lands up in that face right now, you're probably getting a fried egg. If it lands on this side here, it might roll down to the bottom, but always a good note when you're hitting the sand shot, wiggle those feet not only to get a stance, but to get a feel for how fluffy, how thick the sand is. On to the next. Back up in the mill shop, got the golf carts washed, now let's clean them off real good. Get them ready. And I think we need to go fill all the sand bottles. Have to stoke the fire here soon.
here at number 4T, we're starting to get a lot of divots, a lot of pitch marks, as you can see. People are filling them nicely, but I'm going to try to fill up our, our jug, and I'm going to mix some ryegrass in with it. I think that'll help us out. The reason I haven't done this yet, I was worried about the ryegrass pre-germinating. I think that's okay. If it starts to germinate in here, I'll, I'll dump it out or I'll go around and fix, fix spots. So number four, well, all the tea boxes except for number one are pretty much fescue. I've been trying to slowly integrate some ryegrass into it in this fall. We're also going to hit it hard with bluegrass. I'm going to just do a light coat of uh, ryegrass seed over top of this. We're about a half hour before the guy's supposed to get here. We're going to stoke this fire and we're going to mow the green. When we get on that green, a few things I want to show you. And I mowed that green last night, so I'm excited to see how much clippings I get. I'll show you that too. Let's stoke this fire first. The atmosphere that provides is, is priceless. All right, we're walking up to the Spud Run Golf Green, and I want to show you something here. I know I haven't really talked about this lately, but the extension. I think it's doing good. It's hard to see in the shadow. We still have spots like this that I'm, I'm top dressing. I'm top dressing this whole thing lightly once a week, uh, aggressively filling in low spots. Right now, it actually looks like it could use a little bit of fertilizer. It's starting to pale out a little bit. Over here is a spot I want to show you. We've got some patch disease that has begun. I've been spraying this every seven, eight days with fungicides. When I got back from vacation, I just noticed this little spot. And it's it's not grown in the last seven days. It's actually, you could, you could see a good de definition of it the other day. So hopefully we got that in bay because you know what? We cleared out that side, we cleared out trees over here bought more sunlight kind of um, we've always got a good breeze back here this is the same time last year that we had that patch disease that really gave us fits and just uh we went into september in pretty bad shape we really did so it's critical here these next two three four weeks that we can get through this i'm going to continue to apply fungicides continue to monitor it and do whatever i can to keep this thing in good shape because right now man it's just rolling so good it's it's rolling pure, it's rolling smooth. The balls are sticking, they're backing up. It's reacting like a green that you could go out and you, these courses you go out and you pay $100 or $200. This green is rolling and receiving balls just like those. It's it's the golf green that I've always dreamed of. It's, it's almost there. If we can get this thing to fill in, which by the subscribers tournament, which is coming up, we'll probably have our first pin on that side. Not had a pin over there yet, but it's it's coming. All right, let's fire up this mower, throw the drone in the air, mow this thing, and then uh, let's hang out with these guys that's coming tonight. I know they, I don't think they're camera shy, which if you're a spoker in golf, you can't be camera shy, come on. culmination of all today's events have led to this the guys are here i think it's somebody's birthday let's check them out so cam here it's his birthday how we doing come out to play tonight what are you guys gonna do just play a single ball what are you gonna play uh, a little rotating partners game driver carts others yep oh breakfast bowl i'll use it <laughs> 
Oh, we can find that. I've seen it. We can find it. <laughs> Would you say that you're Spudron's biggest fan? At least top two, and I'm not two. <laughs> <laughs> so last week while I was going, came here with two holes to go, almost had the course record. So I think, well, you can't beat the record not if you're playing a, a game, right? Yeah, you can. You still, yeah, you keep it. It's, it's still best ball. Yeah, yeah. I think the record's safe. <laughs> Get around it. Just be around it. I think you got around it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah it kicked right. Bounce. 